Hi friends, I'd like you to meet my friend Sheila here. She's another chicken and she came to hear our Bible story today. We're going to hear about what happened to Jacob today. And remember, Jacob was one of Isaac's twin boys, Jacob and Esau. And Isaac was the special son that God had given Abraham and Sarah in their old age. And Isaac married Rebecca and they had Jacob and Esau. And so now Jacob is in our story today and he has a special dream. Astro, do you remember the song about Abraham? Father Abraham had many sons and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right wing, left wing. Father Abraham had many sons and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right eye, left eye. Father Abraham had many sons and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. Okay, Astro. So, Astro, our story today is sometimes called the story of Jacob's Ladder. And I have a song about that. Imagine that. We are climbing Jacob's Ladder. We are climbing Jacob's Ladder. We are climbing Jacob's Ladder. Soldiers of the Cross. Astro, do you love my Jesus? Astro, do you love my Jesus? Astro, do you love my Jesus? Soldiers of the Cross. If you love him, why not serve him? If you love him, why not serve him? If you love him, why not serve him? Soldiers of the Cross. All right, Astro, we have one last song, and it's about trusting in God, because when Jacob was in our story today, he didn't know what was going to happen to him, and he was a little bit afraid, and then he had a dream that reminded him that God is with him, just like God is with us, and we can trust God. Remember that song, Astro? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. That comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. So, Astro, are you ready for this story? Here comes the story. Jacob had to leave Beersheba in a hurry because his brother Esau was so mad at him that he planned to kill him. Jacob's dad, Isaac, and his mom, Rebecca, wanted him to return to their family home in Haran to find a wife because they didn't like Esau's Canaanite wives. On his way to Haran, he stopped for the night at a certain place. He laid down, put a stone under his head, and fell asleep. While he slept, Jacob dreamed, and in his dream he saw something like a ladder leading up to heaven with angels moving up and down the ladder. God revealed himself to Jacob, promised to give the land of Canaan to him and to his descendants. God also promised that he would have many descendants and that through Jacob and his descendants, all the families of the earth would be blessed. When Jacob woke up the next morning, he saw that God was with him. And so he set up a stone and, pulled, and poured oil on it to mark the spot where he had seen the vision. Jacob gave the place a new name, Bethel, which means house of God. And he promised that if God would be with him on his journey and bring him safely back to his father's house, he would certainly.
serve him and return to God part of all that he provided. Jacob did arrive safely in Haran, and God did provide for him while he was there. God gave Jacob wives, children, and protection through many hardships and returned him safely to Isaac in the land of Canaan. So have you ever done salt painting? It's kind of fun. All you need is some glue and some salt and then something to color it with. You can either use food coloring or watercolor paint. Um, you can put it on with brushes or Q-tips, whatever you got. So first thing you do is you take the glue and outline your picture. I'm going to make a ladder. And then once you've got the glue on there, you're just going to sprinkle salt all over the glue. Kind of takes a lot of salt. So be sure you have permission to use up the salt. Okay, so I'm going to spread that around a little bit. And then I'll pour it off into a, another piece of paper over here. Or into a plastic bag, whatever you got. Okay, so now I have, now I have my salt and I'm going to paint it. So if I want to use the food coloring, I'm just going to drop some drops of food coloring on this lid here. And then I'm going to use a Q-tip and get it wet, nice and wet. And then put some dye on it. I'm going to touch it to the to the salt, and the salt just soaks it right up. So if I want to use a different color, I use the other end, and I'll just touch it to the salt, and it soaks it right up. Now, if I want to use the watercolors, pretty much do the same thing. Get the brush wet. And you just, like you would any other watercolor painting, except you just touch the brush to the salt. You don't, you don't actually paint like you would on a piece of paper. You just touch it to the salt. So when you're done, you can let it dry, and then you'll have a fun salt picture. Here's one I did earlier on a piece of wax paper, and it's all dry now. And this one I can hang up in a window if I wanted to. Kind of be pretty like that. So now that I've got my ladder, I'm going to add some angels to it and some more pieces. And I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. Well, that was fun. So I put some stars and a moon and Jacob sleeping at the bottom of the ladder. And that's my picture. So if you want to send me a picture of what you made that would be really cool and you could do a glue and salt picture like this one or make one out of crayons or construction paper you could even make a ladder out of something you could eat like pretzels or uh, 
um, licorice or something, celery, I don't know. Maybe you could make a um, popsicle stick ladder or get some sticks out of your yard and tie them together and make a ladder. So send them to me, send the picture ladder to me, and maybe I can post them in the next video. Thanks a lot.